Good morning, Al Ray, and today is today for today's announcements. I'm Evan Lawrence, and I'm Matt Tung. So let's let us begin. Take right, it away, Matt. Let's start. Thank you, Evan. Senior night for winter sports is tonight. We will be recognizing boys basketball, cheerleading, indoor track, and fencing. Come to the game and give props to our seniors. The ceremony starts at 6:30. And coming up, the sports banquet will be on Thursday, March 3rd. The black and white semi-formal is next Friday, March 4th from 7 to 10 p.m. in the gym. Tickets will be on sale for $5 in the cafeteria and $7 at the door. This will be a lot of fun, and we hope to see you there. Okay, and for lunch today, there will be pizza sticks with sauce or a fish sandwich with coleslaw. Sounds tasty. All right, back to you, Evan. Thanks, Matt. And here's today's weather from WFSB. It will be today. It will be partly to mostly sunny, windy, and much colder, with a low of 32 and a high of 36. While Saturday, it will be mostly sunny and seasonably chilly. Right, seasonably. Seasonably, like parsley, with a low of 15 and a high of 39. Also, the juniors will be all be taking the SATs on Wednesday, March 2nd. Here is an interview with Mrs. Little Finnegan that may answer some of your questions about these tests. Do the video. We're here this morning with Miss Little Finnegan, uh, our school guidance counselor, and we're going to ask her some questions about this year's SATs. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning. All right, so uh, when are they and who will be taking them? So the SATs this year are going to be offered to all of our juniors on March 2nd. This year's a little bit different than it's been in years past because we're offering SATs during the school day. Most of the time, juniors have to take the SATs on a Saturday. Um, it's different this year because the state of Connecticut is using the SAT as what's called the state accountability testing. Very much like they used to use CMTs or they used to use something called SBAC, now they're going to be using SATs. Alright, so what is the purpose of these tests? So the purpose of SATs is there's actually a couple of different purposes. One is, like I said before, the state accountability, but also they're used by colleges to make a determination as to whether or not you are a good fit for their school. So they take your SAT scores and compare it to other students who have attended their schools and been successful there to make a determination as to whether or not you're a good fit. Um, so are these tests mandatory? Yes. This year, the March 2nd SAT is mandatory for all juniors, and that's because of the state accountability testing. Um, all juniors across the state of Connecticut will take the SATs on March 2nd. So how would you prepare for these tests? Well, actually, students have been preparing for the SATs since they started school. The SATs test you on knowledge that you already have. But we've also gone into sophomore and junior classes to because they took something called the PSAT back in October. And we gave them and we showed them all different sorts of tools that could help them prepare for the SATs using Khan Academy. Well, how is the test structured? The SAT that students will be taking on March 2nd actually has two different sections, I'll call them. Um, one is based on critical reading and writing, and the other one is, is structured under math. There is an essay portion of the SAT, but that's not going to be on the March 2nd administration, the school-wide administration. So we recommend that students take the SATs probably twice. It's just like anything. If you take a test the first time, the, excuse me, the second time that you take a test, you'll probably do a little bit better because you're more familiar with it and you want your scores to be as good as they possibly can when you submit them to colleges. So the March 2nd administration is actually free to all students. The state is paying for that for that SAT. But you will be able to register for the SATs after March 2nd, and that one you'll have to pay for. So if you think about uh, that you, you want to go to college and you want to get the best scores that you possibly can, we would recommend that you take it a second time. And we will be speaking with juniors about the dates that those are offered and when they might be able to take them. All right, thank you, Ms. Little again, for uh, answering those questions and letting some of the people who are going to be taking these tests uh, a little something about what they're going to be doing. Thank you, Patrick, right. and good luck to all the juniors. And now, here are some of the highlights from of the recent chamber music concert at the Good Speed. Now, cue the other video, Jim. Jim.
And that concludes today's morning announcements. Have a great day, Hail Ray. And have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> okay.